Hello everyone and welcome back. Today, we will be diving into using ADC in scan mode with DMA. This method is highly efficient and the best approach, especially when dealing with multiple ADC channels. At the first step, we will attempt the process without synchronization by timer. Before generating the project, let's take a look at the datasheet of the selected microcontroller. I am using STM32G431RB. If the speed of conversation is crucial for your application, make sure to pay close attention to this section. Search for fast channel in the datasheet and pay attention to the minimum conversion time, which depends on the resistor of the connected circuit to the ADC. It means if your circuit has higher output impedance, you need more time to get a sample from ADC. You can set the sampling cycle for fast channels to 2.5, but it's not possible for other channels. For my microcontroller, channels 1 to 5 are considered fast channels. Let's move on to the CubeMX configuration. First, I set the clock speed to 120 MHz to achieve a frequency of 60 MHz by dividing it by 2 for the ADC, as shown in the example in the datasheet. I have connected a joystick to ADC channel 1 and 2. I have enabled both channels. I also want to enable the temperature sensor and VBAT. On my board, VBAT is directly connected to VCC. The clock setting is correct. It has been divided by 2. Select end of sequence of conversion. I need to change the number of conversions to 4. After the change, scan mode is enabled and the setting for 4 channels rank will appear. We have to set each channel of ADC for a rank. To determine the sampling time for my joystick, which has a resistance of about 10k ohms, I need to consult the table and select the minimum sampling cycle. Upon review, I found that selecting 247.5 cycles for 12k ohms appears to be acceptable for our needs. For the other channels, I'll select the maximum sampling cycle, as the temperature sensor requires 5 microseconds for conversion. Now, I need to enable DMA configuration. Select the DMA settings tab and click on the add button. The data register is 32 bits, our samples are only 12 bits. Therefore, we can utilize a half word format. I set a pin as an output for debugging purposes and to observe it on the logic analyzer. Now, generate the project and open the main.c file. I declared a variable to store our ADC data. We want to read 4 channels, so I set the size of the array to 4. To achieve greater accuracy, always utilize the ADC calibration function. In a real project, after pausing the ADC or working for 10 to 15 minutes, resume its use. The ADC conversion starts with the start DMA function. And set the number of conversions to 4. We have to convert the data to UINT32 because we previously selected UINT16 for the data. Also, we need a callback function to handle the completion of the sequence. I added a callback here and a GPIO trigger for monitoring conversation completion data in the logic analyzer. Additionally, 
I can restart the ADC here. The decision depends on your preference, and we also have the option to change the DMA mode to circular for automatic operation. Now, I compile and program the project and watch we can the output. As you can see, every 39 microseconds our data is updating. Now, we want to read the variable in live expression. I want to move the joystick, and the data should change on channels 1 and 2 accordingly. I want to convert this values to readable value, like, millivolt and temperature. I declared 4 variables for that. I convert raw data to voltage and temperature by a macro. The first input is the reference voltage in millivolts, the second is the raw data, and the third is the conversion bit. For the VBAT pin, we need to multiply it by 3 because there is a voltage divider inside the microcontroller. You can find more information about it in the datasheet. Now we can see correct value in debug. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please subscribe my channel and support me. Thank you.